What up, it's John Shibboy, IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Before you adjust your phone brightness or change your monitor settings, yes, I am black from playing a dirt bike game. Now I got my boy Kerp, Splash, Sets, Nav all here, and we're ready to do some Supercross stuff. Uh, we're just gonna do a little track walk at first, and then we're gonna get right into it and see like the greatest lines. Uh, we're here at Glendale, so yeah, let's do it. Everybody say what's up. What's up? What's good? What's good? What's good? Uh, and I'm on the Husqvarna 250. I think we got a Kawasaki out here. KTM. Oh my god, he on that mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So yeah, I'm just gonna let Sets and uh, Splash kind of take the control here since they are the more seasoned people at riding. So go ahead and throw it down, man. Yeah. So uh, this first rhythm, you do want to do that triple on because you will lose a lot of time doubling and then tripling over. That's a, that's a big thing in Supercross is doing the step ons. So what is it's it? So is it a step to... on, and then after that, what is it like? One step off into a triple double, uh, or? Yeah, it's a step off, triple triple. Okay, step off, triple triple, and then you want to get that, you want to get that that table on so you can hit this triple, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, you want to do both those table on. So yeah, like, and then the whoops here, you know, you hit them, but you want to you want to hug, you want to hug that left side because you want to try to cut it as close as you can to that tough block. Really? Because you know. And then you yeah, want to you want to hold as hard as you can to these. The east too because you know oh. and, and then you want, it's, it's you want to come in that. wide oh. <laughs> as wide as possible to be able to apex hard and stay on the throttle that okay 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 yeah being smooth so guys but, i did I, mean, I my fault i did change my just so you guys are transparent i did change from my scuff controller to where like i had no uh throttle control to throttle control i switched back to my other controller so i'm definitely bear with me we are working with that as well but yeah, we're gonna get right into that go ahead and continue my fault pimp yeah right here you're gonna go triple triple and then you're going to uh cut over and you want to cut over down into this outside line right here yeah that and then is triple right. triple quad quad triple quad triple quad yeah, yeah quad triple. so you want you want to keep all yeah. your momentum oh shit. you want to keep all your momentum on the outside and then cut down into the inside part or yeah that inside Kinda one cross jump it you can yeah. cross jump it okay and yeah, are you guys taking no, the are you guys taking that little little line are you guys taking that little line or are you guys taking the outside of that to to the ends to uh, the, the little line but and it very uh, it varies you right. can take yeah. either we're, we're gonna have to let, let's all go back real quick to the straight how the hell do you hit this triple on dude i'm having a hard time we'll show you you we'll gotta show like you. go wide and then cut in wide then cut in so you have to stay straighten yeah. the bike back up uh yeah let me get let me get like a good like angle. on the corner let me see that, John. Oh my God, he's such trip. <laughs> yeah, I think this is like the hardest yeah, thing to see. Actually, right. hold up, dude. Hold on. All right, go again. Here, I definitely got to see this, John. Do a little orbit. All right, let's do a little orbit. Oh, we hit that, John. Oh, and then what? It's like a single off, triple, triple. Yeah, a single off, triple, triple. So you're, you're saying you're saying sit off the jump of it? Uh, off the to the. Uh, like as you're uh, going uh, off or no? I saw off the table. So oh, like when no. you land on this table, you want to sit and basically what it does is it automatically scrubs for you coming off of it because for whatever reason, the physics off the table allow you to like put the front end down into it. All right. And then you're third in here or what? Uh, I landed it. No. Uh, are you second gear right there? Like splash? Are you set? Are you second or third? Like what were you getting third. the most? Your third? Third, third, third. Dude, Dude I, I thought you guys were just sitting over here talking over me. My mic was muted. I was <laughs> eating. Oh, yeah. Oh, I landed you hit it. A Let's third. go. I landed yeah, it. Yeah, you hit a third. You're getting that. I landed it, but literally botched the rest of it. <laughs> like, literally got yeah. demonized. Supercross is a lot. A lot of it is the, uh, this, uh, absorbing it, like, sitting as you go up the face. Yeah. The lip. And then for whoops, you kind of want, do you want like all, you want your front tire for sure to, to touch the front, right? Like every, yeah, honestly, <laughs> on these new OEMs, I am, I'm shifting my weight a lot. I am actually, I lean, I kind of lean forward whenever the whoops are pretty fresh, mm -hmm. just to try to get that tire, that rear tire to not like bounce or anything. Gotcha. Try to keep the front end lit, even though, just try to get it in the air to get Dude. it up, to get to the next whoop. What about these like table jumps? Those you, you really want to take your time. Yeah, like it's kinda, time, and do. then like, do you sit down at all, or? Uh, I just I, I just sit standing. Yeah, you yeah. Sit stand so or? like, when you land, yeah. when you land on them, you want to sit, and then you stand again, and then when you land on the other one, you sit, okay. scrubs it, and it basically automatically scrubs it. Okay. Try these whoop whoops again. How are you feeling, Kurt? 
I feel pretty good. Yeah, you have um, a lot of experience on on Supercross, or? Not, I mean, I guess you could say, yeah, but not really. I guess you could say competitive. Like I haven't really raced on Supercross. Yeah. I've just tested by myself. Hmm. Yeah, but like, uh, if you uh, that triple on, you want to like make sure your bike is as straight as possible because the more and more you're leaned over, the yeah, I, it's going to be more like a scrub. Yeah, I feel like that's what's happening right now is I'm not getting the bike straight going, and I feel like I don't understand like that that middle zone of like when to stand the bike back up, like. Like even there, like I'm not even know. standing the bike up like good enough, and I feel like I like I feel like that's like my huge thing, and I'm also like <laughs> scrubbing shit that doesn't. I'm not giving it enough power, and I'm also scrubbing shit that doesn't need to be scrubbed like at the time, or like at least with. I'm I, I feel like I'm scrubbing for no reason. No, nah, how do you feel about it? About what? Supi? The triple and Supi, yeah. Uh, I only made the triple once, and I'm. I don't know. I like outdoors better. You're more an outdoor. I feel like right now in this game, I'm more of an outdoors person. Yeah. I don't know. Another thing it's, is, uh, it's probably just I mean, a skill issue, honestly. Yeah, literally. The E road, the E road will make it easier to get over stuff. Oh, really? As the track gets beat down? Yeah, because oh, it'll start to get cupped up and it'll it'll beat you higher. Wow. Bet. All right then. So, like these rods hold me better. Easy peasy. Hold on. Third triple triple is awesome, and then get as much momentum as I can out of that. Oh, wow. another thing is too. Uh, you don't you don't have to scream the 250 on Supercross. You can actually lug it a lot. Really, a 250? That like you can go through third in some of these turns, and you'll actually end up better. I'm gonna have to try that. Okay, here we go. Stand up, stand up, sit it up straight. Nope, stand up, stand up. Happening. Not as... So, would you recommend for people that are not as experienced, aka me, would you say not even to try to go for that table line, just kind of take the other rhythm off of it? Uh, yeah, I would to be honest, because I mean. The more consistent you can be, the better your race is going right, to be. Right, because that's, that's just that's the more learning you'll be able to right? Get. Just more consistency right. than anything. You're right. If you can stay up against other people, because uh, like I feel like you had told me this before, you're literally like challenging yourself. You're not challenging anybody else on this. It's right. Like, just your, you and the track at that point. Let's go aerial broadcasting. See what that has to do with it. Slight OJ on the finish. Missed the rut. Slight OJ again. I mean, he's, he's he's going pretty okay. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. The consistency is there. Oh, and he's able to catch that inside. All right, this is like where I need to understand what's going on here. There's no way. There's no way. I did the exact same thing. And the cameras were on at that point too. <laughs> That's wild. I just can't do it. He just looks so flowy with it, bruh. I think this video was definitely need needed for people like that, like like me, that are having a hard time with Supercross, just to understand like simple things. Like I feel like we're, I feel like, I feel like for myself, this dude literally just cooked, bro. Next, next, get him off the court. Get him, get him. Good I beat my laptop by like six tenths. Oh my God. My, I just felt that my corner speed was way slower. Really? Like through this corner, that corner he's going through right now, you definitely want to carry third. Uh, the corner after this, after this rhythm section, you want to carry third. Well, I also my gearing different. It's a bit longer. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're on a so. really, that's different. I mean, I just see like you guys are literally keeping the momentum up. It's actually really like amazing. And you're not yeah. even trying to like I hearing hearing it in the gearing. You're not even trying to full pin, even going off like the phase. Like I see that you're light lighting it up, like let like letting up on it. Wow, that's insane. The thing with that uh, that step off right there, like he just did it, it's, yeah. uh, it, it'll it launch you pretty far. It's pretty lipped up actually compared to what it looks like. Mm. So that corner he just went through right there, that one, I did third, but I think second would have been a smidge faster. I bogged a little bit. Cause like, uh, cause you're yeah. only trying having to get on, cause you're not having to carry that much speed to, to get it's past a little bit, it, right? It's, it's just, it's tighter. It's mm. just, it doesn't look like it, but it kind of feels like it. It's just yeah. a little bit of a tighter corner. Even though it's actually probably scaled with the same as all the other. Eh, no, it's actually it's a little bit tighter. I feel like this is yeah. I feel like he just did the exact same I did, and we're not seasoned. But I've seen both of you guys literally like 
have the confidence to go inside that rut. But for me, I feel like I get like a weird stick in it to where it's like almost gonna make me fall. Like I don't feel comfortable going in it. So I would, I would go through, he went through there in second, I would go through there in third because the bike, the engine braking. If you, mm. when you go up to third, the bike isn't, uh, <laughs> it's not trying to like slow you down. Yeah. That's hard. I feel that. I, I go Guess up what? to third. Oh my God. A little so OJ carry third, automatic. carry third through the berm and click up to fourth as you're about to enter the whoops. It's a big thing. <gasps> I hate it here. Let's go again. <laughs> Like, that's what I was talking about. Like, I was scared to actually ride this right here. Like, he, it's giving me, like, it. a weird physic, but physics. Well, that's not bad. I mean, I did OJ a lot. I can still get over this. Yeah. So, uh, I actually, I brake tap a ton. That's probably why it kind of looks smooth. You brake tap so actually, when? I just, like what? Yeah, I'm like I'm like almost always brake tapping in the air. Oh my god! So brake tapping? I, I in, oh, my, just a little bit to pull it down. Yeah. So I have a. I just have my rear brake binded to like my left bumper, L1. That so makes I'll sense. just pull the clutch in. And Here we go. Just have it. <gasps> Damn That's it. almost. Here, do you want to spin that back? Let's spin I'll that back. Do it again. Third right, and right, just hold on. it. Okay. So you need to go a little bit wider. A little bit. Oh. Ekemo! Oh. Ekemo! Oh. Ekemo! It will be, you're coming like right here. Mm -hmm. You're coming right here, and then you're and then you're pointing down. Like you're making a sharp turn, so you're having to slow down a ton. While if you So you're coming down the straightaway, you're for your chance you're probably gonna be hugging right here. So you wanna hug right here. And you just wanna stay kinda wide. And then you wanna slowly just drift. You slowly just drift and cut under. Alright, let me try that, John. Short as Possible. Let's go. Yeah, you got it. Wow. I just learned. Pro tip. Pro tip. Pro tip. Pro tip. Pro tip, dude. Sick, oh my. Yeah. They always. It's always one. There's gonna be one section of the track where that's the skill gap. Everybody else will be able to do everything just fine. But then that's the skill gap. But this track doesn't really have a ton of those in aerial. Everybody's. Able to hit everything really consistently. I feel like I can hit it now, but now it's just like I need to hit it clean so I can get the rest of the rhythm. Yeah, whenever I step onto it, I actually I actually just let off when I land. Really? Just because it'll it'll launch me too far. Uh, like I'll blip it. I'll just blip it a little bit. That's not bad. We'll do. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see anything else from us. Um, honestly, we're. Open to ideas, man. I just want to do more content with the dudes. I think this is fun. This is something to learn. You kind of get everybody's insight on it. And uh, maybe I might not be the best person to watch, but dude, they definitely have a lot to teach. So easy peasy, man. It's your boy IBS Kelso. If you guys want to do the honors with me, it's your boy IBS Kelso. We'll catch you next one. Pa 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 pa. pa, 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 pa.